growing, the U.S. and the Bay Area continue to help resettle Afghan immigrants escaping the Taliban. ABC 7 News reporter David Louie shows us why today was an especially happy one in Fremont to help people in need of jobs and clothing. Getting out of Afghanistan as U.S. troops withdrew and the Taliban moved in was only the start of a challenging resettlement process. I just came with uh, only one shirt and one pain when I was just in uh, like a, a sleeping clothes. So that's why it was so bad for us. Because they arrived in the Bay Area with so little, it's an opportunity like this that makes a big difference. San Francisco clothing maker Everlane delivered a truckload of new surplus casual wear to the Afghan coalition, a Fremont-based nonprofit that helps the fast growing Afghan community. Really nice clothes that are beautifully made, very stylish, that can really improve people's lives and just make them feel like special and that people care about them. Afghan Coalition also helps with temporary housing and job fairs, such as this one with food processor Tyson. While some of the immigrants have Bay Area relatives to offer support, Tyson's recruiters were urging them to consider moving to take jobs at its plants in the South, where the cost of living is lower. I have like seen the California price, it's too high. And I've heard about the other prices in, in other states. It's good to move on there for some family that they can't afford here. They face so many critical decisions while dealing with a new language and cultural differences. I think it takes maybe still more than a year until they can settle. They can at least understand where to go, where to work, you know, and, and make a decision about their future. The wave of Afghan immigrants is expected to continue over the next five years, with camps still housing refugees in Dubai and in Europe. So help from the community will continue. Resettlement is a long process. There are good days and there are bad days, but this clearly is a good day. In Fremont, David Louie, ABC 7 News.